behind bars this evening after he allegedly broke into a local smoke shop. 19-year-old Andrew Jonathan Martinez is charged with one count of burglary, criminal damage to property, and larceny. What happened after a 9 o'clock break-in last night at DCP Smoke Shop on Solano Drive has people talking. ABC 7's Jamie Warren is live from out New Mexico Mobile Newsroom. Jamie? Rick and Estella, all is quiet now, but it was a long night for some employees here at DCP's smoke shop. An employee who didn't want to go on camera tells me that his coworkers actually chased Martinez for a couple of blocks and held him down until police arrived. That employee tells me that Martinez was a regular customer at the smoke shop. In fact, he had just been inside the store earlier that day. And he says the shop was closed for the night when the owner was notified that its burglar alarm went off. And he tells me the owner and three other employees arrived at the store and saw Martinez inside. Detectives say he stole cigarettes and lighters. And the employees tell me Martinez escaped out a back door and through this fence. And I'm told he ran a couple of blocks all the way to the Si Senor restaurant where the group held on to him until police arrived. Yeah, they took it upon themselves to, to chase this man down. And, you know, it worked out good in this case, but it may not always. So we. We strongly recommend um, call police, you know, keep an eye on that person if possible, get a best description you can and direction travel and let police handle it. No one was hurt, but I'm told that the store is now looking into possibly adding a cement wall in the back of this shop just to make it a little harder if someone were to escape. Reporting in Las Cruces with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Jimmy Warren, ABC7. If that smoke shop sounds familiar, it's not the first time it's been in the news. In 2014, an employee shot and killed Luciano Acuna after he entered the shop holding a gun and demanding cash. Imagine driving.